you can actually feel the flakes in there. The fish flake right there. Got him. Oh yeah, we do. These fish just don't know. I mean, they don't know that this is, we gotta chum the water. Chum the water. Oh, that's, oh crap, it's all in the boat. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever heard of, hey, that's just crazy enough to work? I think I've got that video for you today. So this video was actually not even my idea. I didn't even think of it. It was thought of by a subscriber. His name is Neil. Shout out to Neil for this video idea. And I think it is a great one. He said, I know you make soft plastics. Have you ever tried putting a fish attractant in there? And I was like, bro, I've got fish attractants. I put them in there all the time. And he was like, no, 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 no. Have you ever tried putting in a fish attractant? And I was like, not that kind, but I'll do it. So I honestly don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. We are going to warm up these soft plastics. I've got three different colors. I've got like a, they're all remelt, but I've got like a green pumpkin, a black with a bunch of different color glitter, and then like a red, it's a light red, but it's red with a bunch of different color glitter. And we're going to put this stuff in the plastic while it's hot and inject it and see if we can't go catch fish on it. I'm not sure if it's gonna increase the bite, but I can tell you we are going to the pond, like as in like the John Boat Pond, like the pond me and Chris put tons of fish in. Um, those fish are on a moving bait bite. They are, they are slowed down on the worms. So if we get bit on some fish on the worm, it probably works. So let's give it a try. Let's go. All right, so as I said, I've got red, I've got black, and I have like a green pumpkin. I'm gonna make one package of each of these in a finesse worm. It's a little six inch finesse night crawler worm. Very similar to what you would consider to be like a slim shake or a trick worm. That same style of bait, we're gonna make one pack of them, so that's two molds each. And let's get started. All right, so we got this first batch of 350. We've got our Tetra formula. This is tropical fish flakes. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's not a recommended dosage for plastic worms. So we're just gonna have to eyeball it. I'm gonna say, let's put a pretty good bit in there. I mean, what's it gonna hurt, right? Hmm. That's doing some things. Y'all look at this. It's like bubbling. Can y'all see that? I want y'all to see what it looks like and we'll try to get a better view. All right, so I just dropped some in there, right? Stir them in. Watch this craziness. Look at that. What is it even doing? I don't know, but it's adding a lot of bubbles to it. I'll tell you that. I will give it this. It definitely changes the smell. Like, I just smelled it. It definitely has a different smell. All right, well, let's shoot. Let's shoot it real quick then. Let's... There's one down. Let's go for the black. Let's warm up some black. All right, let's see, let's see what monstrosity we got here. This is the one I thought might be bad. Nope, it fully injected, but we do. Yeah, it did not really fully inject. I've got some air pockets in there and I thought I would. All right, let's see the full pack. The full pack right here should have nothing but good ones in it. So I'm gonna tell you, this is super weird. You can actually feel the flakes in there. Like they're kind of like, when you pinch it, they they're like kind of crush. Wow, that's, this is interesting. I've got some hot plastic salt here with the black. I think I've got y'all at a better angle to see what this does when I take a big pinch of this stuff, put it in there, so watch. A bunch of it in there. Now as we cover it, it's like it reaches its boiling point. Look at it. It's just gonna start foaming. So I'm gonna stir it in and watch the magic. Craziness. Alright, and away we go. Now let's warm up the red while we're waiting. Crack these up and see what we got. Oh yeah, they look a lot better. Check that out. Can you feel these? You can. 
It is so weird, man. Like you can run your finger through here and you just feel it crunching. That is craziness. Big old pinch of fish flakes. It's a lot. Probably put just too much in there just now. Just realizing that's probably too much. This is gonna fizz like crazy. I don't foresee any issues with these. I think they're gonna look just like the black ones and the green pumpkin ones. They'll just be red. Sure enough, they look exactly the same. They're just red. Surely y'all can see that or probably I was off screen. That, that makes a lot of sense. Again, you can't see them, but if you squeeze it, you can feel them. Well, there you can see some, look at there. Y'all see that, will it focus? That little black spot? That is a fish flake. You can squeeze it and it crackles like a fish flake. All right, folks, so there you go. Red, green pumpkin, and black. All ready to go for tomorrow. I'm actually gonna make a couple more green pumpkins because you know, as you saw, we didn't have a good run of one of those molds. So I'm gonna make a quick one of those, probably grab a thumbnail, and uh, then I'm gonna meet y'all out on the water. So we're gonna get on the water in the morning and uh, we'll flash forward to that right. All right, folks, let's see if we can do the dang thing. We got some crazy baits today. Whew, made that look pretty smooth. So we have several different colors of fish flake worms. So we got the black, we got the red, we got the green. Not saying this because y'all literally, it was like five seconds ago for me, this has been overnight and let's be honest, I struggle. So on deck with me is a useless crankbait rod, but it's there. But I've got a drop shot rod, I've got a shaky head rod, and I've got a Texas rig rod. The green reel is the Texas rig, red is the shaky head, and obviously spinning gear for drop shotting. Y'all folks that use like bait casters for drop shot and i don't know i I'm, I'm gonna have to do a live stream this next live stream is going to be on why that's not a great idea i'm probably gonna have a lot of the guys that are absolute sticks on their draft with me on this chris is inevitably going to disagree some of you may disagree but uh i think i can make a compelling argument as to why that is and uh I mean, it may not change your mind on what you're doing, but I can at least explain it. We're gonna start off with the old green pumpkin with a bunch of different flake, but more importantly, fish flake. So just like last night when I was making these, I can feel the flake crunching in there as I'm messing with this. That's, it still blows my mind, that's crazy. I do have this thing pegged. I don't know what weight that is. It's just a weight, just take my word for it, pegged with a little bead on there just so I get a little bit of a clickety clack. I don't know that I've worm fished out here in quite some time. I wonder if they're even biting worm. That could be really the biggest part of this challenge. Here's what we gotta do, fellas. I think what we gotta do, these fish just don't know. I mean, they don't know that this is, we gotta chum the water. Chum the water. Oh, that's, oh crap, it's all in the boat. Gotta chum the water. There we go. Chum the water with the fish food. Come get it, boys. See, they just don't, they don't know. Oh, that stuff went very far. They don't know that this is good for them. So it's not gonna help that it's in the worm because they, I mean, it's like they don't even know. There, we've chummed the water. Now we're gonna get on one. See, we chum the water, first cast. Oh, no! He had it, look at it. Look at it. No, he had it. Dead gummit. We were all over it. Thanks, fish. I think I got a fish because it's swimming. Let us see, I think so. Oh yeah, we do. Little guy. He's probably eating it to his butt. Nope, no he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he did. He's bleeding. 
you're in the gills that's your problem yeah you didn't swallow it it's you almost swallowed it dang buddy there see you're not so bad I think he's gonna be okay guys but there's a little guy he's bleeding a little bit I hooked him in his gills just a smidge but he looks like he might be all right so again that's on the green pumpkin I like that I like that a lot all right buddy you gonna swim off show everybody you're good that we are professionals at this no you're not you're not gonna show we're professionals at this you're gonna show that that was terminal that's not good yeah i don't know that buddy's gonna make it i'm just gonna throw it out there when i let him go he did not look too good so not not a great start all right i really can't dwell on that too long because well i mean let's be honest he's one of the littler fish in here we kind of want to get rid of those anyway i hate that i did it that way but i mean he picked it up and swam toward me i don't know what he expected was going to happen but he wanted it so badly because of the, I'm, I'm assuming, because of the fish flake in him. Let's go with the black now. It's got black, got a little bit of red flake, a little bit of blue flake. Good looking color. And of course, a whole lot of fish flake. Got him. I saw that fish swimming. Oh man, and he ate it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Got him on the black one. Got him on that black one. Boom. They're all pretty tiny. I mean, they're thick on the back, but they're... Where are your big ones? Where are the big ones at? Go tell the big ones to come out and play. Dang. That's what I'm talking about. Black is done. All right, just for the sake of doing something different, because we've had success on the black and the green. I'm not totally sure if it is the fish flakes that's making a bite. I'm not sure if the Texas rig actually is doing a great job or not because we've only had two bites. Now we've only been out here for about 15 minutes and that's way better than I was doing earlier today in a video that y'all probably have already seen or are going to see here shortly. But let's do a drop shot. So let's see if we can get bit on the drop shot on this red one. I'm actually gonna bite this down a little bit. That's a little too long and for my taste on a drop shot, so I'm gonna bite it down eh, about in the middle of the uh, old egg sack there of the worm, or worm sack. It's not an egg sack, Rhett. It's a worm sack. All right, I've seen enough of the drop shot. I'm not sure if it's the drop shot or it's the red color or what, but they do not want it. So we're gonna pull out another red and we're gonna go back to my Texas rig. All right, come on, T-Rig. Like we're doing the opposite here. Usually when the bite gets tough, you go to a finesse rig like that, but they weren't having it. We're going away from finesse. And we're going to a Texas rig. Interesting, interesting play there, Brett. I wonder if it's gonna work out. I think I got a fish. I do, he's a little guy. Ah, yeah, he's a little one. Got him on the run. He must have just been cruising above the grass and saw me come over with that worm right in the side of the mouth. Well, I was about to cast into what looks like a pack of bluegill over there. Little bitty fella, thanks buddy. On the red worm. So that does all three actually. So I guess this video is a wrap, even though we didn't get any donkeys. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was an interesting one. Neil, I really appreciate the suggestion of putting fish flakes in, in the worms. That was interesting. And the way it foamed, it was just crazy. We did end up getting three fish in all three colors. And here is the deal. I've got a ton of those worms left. So if you are subscribed, you like the video, you watched it all the way through, and you leave a comment below on what you thought was the craziest thing about those worms, whether it be the bubbling, the fact that we even did it, um, or the fact that I was able to catch more fish on a Texas rig than I was a drop shot on a summertime pattern where the bite is just tough. Whatever it is, leave it in the comments and uh, I will randomly draw somebody 
and uh, it'll be in the description of the next video. So you may want to hit those ding dong notifications so you'll be notified next video to see if you won. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. It's hot. I'm ready to go home and uh, basically chill for the rest of the weekend with the family. So I hope you guys had a good weekend because this is going to be out on Sunday. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.